What's going on guys, C8 here today and I'm bringing you a commentary on Black Ops 2. Today, I'm going to be talking about a story during my spring break that I had last year. But, before that, I want to thank my friend Jackson, or Pappy O'Donnell, for lending me this gameplay because I can barely get gameplays in Black Ops 2. I don't really like it, not my favorite game, but then again, everybody on YouTube wants to watch Black Ops 2, so... I try to get gameplays, but I like Battlefield more. But enough ranting, let's get into the story. It was, oh, about 10 o'clock at night, and we went to Sonic before this, like, before Sonic closed. So we went to Sonic and got, like, giant drinks from Sonic. And then we, we wanted to go to Walmart, and it was, like, a 15-minute walk away. So we took our drinks, and we walked into Walmart. And we, we finished our drinks before we got to Walmart. So we put our cups on our hands, like... I'm 16 and he's he was 16 at the time and I was 15 at the time, but I mean it was it was pretty funny. We were running down the hallways with our cups like on our hands like this picture right here. But anyway, we were running down the hallways with our giant Route 44 cups on our hands like that, and then we would run down the aisles and just be like, just shooting at each other, um, and it was really funny. We got some. We got some pretty funny looks from, like, the employees and the and the staff and the customers. <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was grand. And then we went to McDonald's after that. McDonald's was like five minutes walking, so we went to McDonald's and the drive-through was the only thing that was open. So we were jumping on like the sensor that is at McDonald's drive-through that the cars get on, so you hear the beep in your earphone or whatever so you know cars at the drive through fortunately we did not weigh enough combined to trip the sensor and make it go off so we walked up to the window and we were knocking on the window and we were like um can we get food and they unfortunately declined our food requests because we were not in a vehicle so we were like oh that sucks and walked away and then um <laughs> at walmart we bought yo-yos so we were becoming yo-yo champions this night and then we went to this gas station before we went to his house because I think we, we wanted like chips or something and we went to this gas station and this old Indian man owned it and <laughs> he's there every day it's like his and I don't, I don't know if he has many employees at all but he was there working the late shift and it was like two in the morning by now so we walk in, yo-yoing, and we stand there <laughs> in his store, yo-yoing for about 10 minutes. Just sitting there, yo-yoing. Then we left. Without buying anything, we just left. It was, it was pretty fun. And then the next night, we found a cardboard box at his house, and then we decorated it like a car. So the next night, when I stayed the night again, we went back to the McDonald's drive through <laughs> we knocked on the window again and they were like uh we can't give you food you're not in a car and my friend goes i beg to differ and like walks away from the window a little bit and then she sees that we're both in like this cardboard box that's decorated like a car and we have like duct tape across our chest so it looks like seat belts as well this lady started laughing so hard I think that we made her laugh hard enough that she was like, all right, fine, we'll give you your food. Because we did get to order food, and then we left, and we were happy that we went through the McDonald's drive through with a cardboard box. Now, <laughs> that may not have been the most interesting story for you guys, but I thought it was pretty funny. That's pretty much the story for today. I think I have a little bit left to talk. I don't know what I want to talk about yet. Okay, I figured out what to talk about. I am really, really close to 100 videos, guys. And, th and then again, I'm also close to 200 subs. I've been at like 150. So if you're if you're a subscriber and you like my stuff, can you please pass my stuff around? Because I'm at 150 and I've been there for a couple weeks and it's kind of sad. But I am almost at 100 videos, and I think for 100 videos, I'm going to do a compilation of, like, all my videos, the funniest stuff, and the best stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoy that, and I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary and the story. I will see you in the next one. Logic.
Got a date with destiny. My heart says yeah, but can't convince the rest of me. I tried so hard to.